I'm gonna give you my number. We should hang out. Yeah. My boyfriend will be worried about um, what happened to me. Friends? Yeah, why not? Okay. Right. Friends. Is this always how you make friends? Like it's a business deal? Yeah. Tell me a bit about, first of all, this story and, and what, what it's about in, in your words. Uh. Yeah, it's, it's basically about two people that meet at a party and they have an immediate connection, um, a, a, a boy and a girl, a man and a woman. And um, it, by the end of the party, she tells him that she has a boyfriend, a long-term boyfriend, but they make, but they sort of click so much, they decide to become friends. And they make a concerted effort to become friends, and it sort of explores that uh, question of whether or not men and women can be friends, or does sex get in the way of it? And what's different about this film is that there's real no, there's really no villain. It's all sort of an internal thing of them, like sort of dealing with whether or not dealing with their own emotions in a, in an ethical way as they try to sort of sort out how they actually honestly feel about each other um, through sort of a bunch of different sort of things that happen through the course of the movie. What was it about the script that attracted you, that, that told you that, hey, I want to make this into a movie? Yeah, I mean, I was a big fan of the rom-com as, as a genre. It's pretty been pretty maligned, but the classics of the genre are amazing, amazing films. Um, so I like the genre to begin with, but the script itself uh, was very funny, had a very specific voice. Alain Mastai is a writer, um, and he's just so sharp, and everybody's so quick-witted. So the, the the tone of it off the top was something that interested me, and it, the comedy. But I think the the paramount thing for me was um, the emotional impact of the end of the script. Is that it actually you started to care about the character so much because they made you laugh so much that by the end of the film or at the end of the script, it it had a really an emotional wallop to it. And to me, I was interested in sort of pressing that button as a director, that romantic uh, emotion. Um, it has been something I had never done. I'd done a little bit in terms of supporting sort of romantic subplots in my movies, but to make it the first and foremost thing was was an interesting challenge for me as a director. Yeah, and your your comedy is, is generally a bit more edgy, let's say. And, yeah, yeah, and, 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 and for yeah. you for you to get into that, what was it like to get into this this emotional side of things? It was good. It, it it was also you know it was also sort of how I approached the film, which was with sort of longer takes and and like letting the actors act and like. And have just sort of shots breathe, and 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 as I say, just let the actors improv, and 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 not try to build the moment with editing, but but let it happen within the within the camera frame. And that was a real lesson for me as a director, because I'm such an editing monkey. I just like to cover as much as I can, but with this, you just don't have the time. And you know, it was that thing of like, that was great. Let's move on. Like, wow, we that's that's all in one shot, and it's great, and that's how we're gonna do it.